Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of the Cartridge and Disc Podcast. This is your Gen X Gamer here, and let's do another rambling morning, rambling morning another one from this last, last spot that we're going to do here, because pretty soon things are going to change around the channel, and I won't be here anymore, but let's talk about something you might find interesting. Not many other people do, <laughs> but uh, you might. So if you like this kind of video of dark subjects that really nobody cares about <laughs> except for <laughs> people that are really really into gaming well then go ahead and subscribe well guys let's talk about lonely gamers and the trend that's coming up look at those ducks out there All right as a society we're separating All right first one I'm about to say is not legal or financial advice in any way <laughs> if you need the uh, help of a professional go ahead and get it especially when it comes to finances and law but I was doing just that and talking with my financial expert we're going over strategies for the next 10 years and let me tell you guys some of these things are worrisome what do I mean by that well let me tell you let me tell you uh, studies show right there's a few studies that show that about uh, 50% of women here by the year 2030 are going to be single. Women from like 25 to 42. 50% right? of them single forever, meaning that they're never going to get married. Uh, how is that going to affect the market in the American market? Well, that's something that we have to look at if you're going to invest in products long term. You're not going to be a invest heavily invested in baby products for example if you know half the people are not getting married that doesn't make any sense right what's happening in japan for example their birth rates are, are just completely sinking because it's not economically viable anymore to have kids for a lot of you know younger adults they want to dedicate and have a career right it's a big sacrifice so somebody has to sacrifice and in a two-parent a home right one of them would have to stay home and you can't afford to have a family on a single income that's really is the driving force behind a lot of this but not only that you have social media which have caused people to be less engaged right more on their phones and I was thinking about what this guy was saying and let me tell you guys I went to a Pete's coffee with my son and there was a lonely man in there, right? You could tell he was lonely. He's just sitting there while everybody else is on their laptop. He's sitting there with a pen and pad and he's just, he's just writing things down and just looking around, you know? And let me tell you, this man, based on his clothing was well-to-do, especially on his watch. He was wearing a, about a $3,000 watch. And it was not, not an old watch. And, uh, he was alone he was alone nobody to talk to not married or anything and i found this out by talking to him because he didn't have anybody to talk to he decided to talk to me because i was wearing a van halen shirt and i was wearing shorts so he could see my van halen tattoo and he was like wow i've never seen that before and that's how i got to know him and talk to him and stuff and let me tell you guys uh this gentleman in most countries would be <laughs> a very coveted bachelor but here in America he's the epitome of the oppressive <laughs> toxic masculinity he's really in the wrong place you know being in the Bay Area for who he is and being an introvert really leads to a lonely life let me tell you this guy has a hard time communicating and he's not the first person that I met like this over here you know, in general, about 20% of all human beings are considered good-looking or have a personality that people want to be around, and they're the ones who get most of the action. I know because I am one of this 20%, probably in the lower 20, but enough to where, you know, it was pretty fun. <laughs> and let me tell you this, guys. I learned this from a very early age when I was in high school. My best friend in high school... He's about five foot two. He looks like Manny Pacquiao, right? Just to give you an example of what he looks like. He's five foot two, looks like Manny Pacquiao. 
uh, was brought here to this country when he was like two years old, does not speak a lick of Spanish, even though he looks like he should be working <laughs> close to the Home Depot, right? No, this guy was like Spicoli. This guy had like a valley accent and had personality for days. This guy couldn't keep him off, right? Everywhere he went, women, women, women. And it was all based on personality. Here I was trying to get nicer clothes, trying to get the cologne. This guy would show up in a tank top and shorts and couldn't keep them off him. That's where I learned that, you know, your attitude and personality has a lot to do with how people relate to you. Especially women, <laughs> especially the opposite sex, right? And there started a journey and a friendship that led us to many, many, many adventures Many hotel nights that look like Rick, old Ric Flair stories. <laughs> we were doing a lot of tag team attacks back in the day. Man, what a great... <laughs> high school was amazing for us. Regardless, guys, this is the way our society is, is going. The traditional family is breaking down. Right? That's why a lot of gentlemen like this one feel that their life is under attack. What he wants right, is not considered considered desirable by the dating pool around him right they don't want to be a stay-at-home wife they don't want to have a traditional marriage right they don't want any of that my suggestion to him is go look for a different dating pool where they have values like you do whether it's a more traditional christian setting like you know because i mean being a christian in the bay area in a big city like this is probably not going to get you <laughs> Where you want to be, your dating pool is very reduced, right? Uh, but this is the people that they were talking about in these studies, right? People like him, people that, you know, are into, now he's into his 50s and nothing, right? Nothing. He just can't find anything. And, uh, you know, at this point, it's more likely that he's going to stay single than he's going to be married, right? Because... Even though we had a good conversation, I tried to give him a few pointers here or there. He's not going to change from one conversation. I don't think so. At least he didn't seem like it. He was still pretty reserved and quite a shy man. But these are the realities of our society. These are the realities of gamers. So as investors, we have to invest in reality. I have to invest in what is. And what is is that these people are going to be single. These people are going to be separated by technology, right? Technology is going to replace human connection. And uh, that's something that looks to be inevitable. It's happened in Japan. It's happening in China. You have In China, you have about 40 million men that can't find wives because of the, the policies of the government there. It's going to be an epidemic here pretty soon uh, of single people, if you will doesn't mean they're not going to be happy right it just means that that's the way society's going and we have to invest accordingly now i hope this is not you i hope if you're a person of traditional values you're able to develop yourself into somebody that you know people would want to meet develop those social skills if that's what you really want there's a lot of negative youtubers out there let me tell you i was watching a video by abbas Ciel where this guy is exactly the kind of guy I'm talking about. Not only does he not have any social skills, he's got the shittiest attitude ever. I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do that. I'm undateable. There's nothing I can do. Going to the gym doesn't work. Yada, yada, yada. Right? All this crap. Right? It's like a loser mentality. And it's very easy to get into that if you failed once, t twice, or three times. But the difference between winners and losers, guys, is that Winners are willing to lose an unlimited amount of times, right? They're willing to lose until they win. Losers will only lose a few times until their ego gets hurt, and then they stop trying. Don't be that guy. Don't be that person. Guys, if you want something out there, if you want relationship, if you want love, it takes work. You can find it. Become the person that people want to meet. And if you just want to be alone playing video games, then that's cool too, right? Just know that you're going to be contributing to my retirement plan. 
<laughs> but I sure I gave you, I, I sure, I hope I gave you something to think about here. Me and Mr. Duck here. And another rambling morning. Let me tell you guys, it's pretty mind-blowing to read some of these figures. I suggest you go, you guys go out and, and read them. Because some of these numbers are sure, sure mind-blowing. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me again. I really do appreciate you stopping by the channel. So does a little duck. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care.